So we're going to go with the sport round to finish on. Manchester City retains the Premier League title and they hold off Liverpool on the final day. City. City. So something about this, um, which I only found out today actually, was no one in the whole league on final day um, of the Premier League, no one in the table was safe and secured in their position. So the final day, oh, right. everyone could have, every single team could have moved position. Mm. Um, and what did, you, what did it's you? What did you? Uh, it's a good final day. Uh, we, I was at the pub and he had the uh, Liverpool game on. Which, yeah. So if I didn't mind watching because I wanted to watch the City game, but then when I was watching the Liverpool game, I was like, actually, either game would have. Is a good game to watch. Both solid teams. And yeah, both have something to play for. Um, when I saw City getting beat and was watching Liverpool, I just thought, "Ah, oh, City have the the they've lost this now two 0 down." And then was it like within ten minutes you scored three goals? Yeah, so it says here, uh, Gundogan scored in the seventy six minutes. Two minutes later, Rodri equalised, and been then. Um, Gundogan added his second just minutes later after that so within 10 yeah. minutes which I thought was like because it, you know, it, it, it comes up when City scored yeah. and it killed the goal and there's loads because obviously Liverpool um, probably one of the most popular teams in the UK yeah um, ever, like, everyone in the pub were cheering for Liverpool and then every time City came on yeah, it was funny and when uh, City were losing, everyone was cheering. Yeah. Did you see um, the fan uh, when Salah scored and he was, um, oh, sorry, he was doing that to him. It's 3-2. Oh, right, no. To the City game. Yeah, Salah was celebrating and then he goes, it's 3-2 with the crowd. And then he walked off like, that <laughs> I was with my mate who's a Tottenham fan. Yeah. And... Son was on, on fire. 20 goals or 21 or 19 <coughs> before the game started. And Salah was on, I oh know it was on 20, Salah was on 21. And then Son scored two goals and Salah hadn't scored at that point. And he was like, yeah, Son's got top goal scorer. <laughs> and then Klopp brings on uh, Salah. And then Salah scores that goal. So he's still got top joint scorer, goal scorer, but he's joint with Salah. Oh yeah, both got uh, twenty two. I think both got twenty three. And then last <laughs> yeah, season, yeah. Harry Kane got twenty three. <laughs> the season before that, Jamie Vardy won it with twenty three. And then the season before that, Mane, Salah, and Abamian got twenty two. And then they got joint twenty two. What? Well, yeah, it was a good last day this this time because uh, everything was to play for. Yeah, because you were playing for a top four. Well, you were. Yeah, we needed Spurs to lose. And we had to win. But I already knew Spurs weren't going to lose against Norwich. Yeah. I bet. Yeah, a lot of teams would, would have liked Norwich on that final day. <laughs> yeah. So I just already... when Once we lost against Newcastle, I was like, we've not got top four. Yeah. And then Arsenal blasted past uh, Everton as well. Was it 5-1? Yeah. 6-1? 5-1. Uh, yeah, 5-1. 5-1, yeah. It's, uh, it's annoying because where was that performance when the pressure was on? Yeah. But they're a young team anyway, like youngest team in the Premier League, youngest manager in the Premier League. So there's still a lot of work. Gabby signing Gabby, Gab, Gab, Gabby Gabby Jesus, yeah. Gabriel Jesus. It'll be our thir third Gabriel in the team. Gabriel Martinelli. Gabriel, oh, is he Gabriel Martinelli, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Jesus. Is he uh, Martinelli? Is Brazilian, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he got leaked. So he's getting your number ten or your number eleven. Number eleven, yeah. Yeah, so he's staying for because uh... Emil Smith Rowe's got on number ten. All oh, right, okay. I don't know why they gave him number ten shirt. Who's got Odegaard? Number more of a number ten player. What? Odegaard plays more of a number ten role. But there wasn't Smith Rowe already already there before Odegaard came. Uh, Odegaard was there on loan, and then it was. Questionable if we're gonna 
sign him again, and then I think we signed him. But mm. still, I feel like they gave him a bit prematurely. I think the uh, season next season will be good. Yeah. Should be good. Holland to City, Gabby Jesus to... He's a good player, Gabby Jesus. He just doesn't fit in the City team. Yeah, I think he might do all right, Arsenal. Mm. AC. Yeah, I think he'll fit into that team much more as well. Um, but I think, like, we need to give hats off to Liverpool. They uh, they were played every game available to them this season. They played every game available to them? Yeah, because they got to the oh, yeah, final shit. of the Carabao Cup, final FA Cup, played every Premier League game and final Champions League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually mental, if you think about yeah. it. And if they won on... Um, a part of me, like... I've got a soft spot for the City because of you, but then a part of me wanted Liverpool to win just to see someone win the quadruple. Yeah, um, but it's like Liverpool winning. Then United league. fans will shut up. Yeah. I feel like if you... Because <laughs> United lost it though, no? Yeah, yeah, Crystal Palace won nil. <laughs> I feel like if United... If uh, West Ham won, then United would have got uh, that Europa Conference League. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So West Ham would have finished above them and not yeah. them as well. Yeah. Then if Liverpool won the league and then won the Champions League, I don't think United fans will ever hear the end of it. Yeah. I don't think anyone would hear the end of it, though. Yeah, that's true. I don't that's know. another thing I can't be bothered with. I've started to get a bit annoyed with uh, some Liverpool fans recently. 